Good afternoon, Year 4. We are now going to begin our spelling lesson. So this is going to be lesson number 17. Our learning objective today is to be able to spell words with the prefixes in, er, el, and em. Yesterday, we were consolidating what we already knew about these prefixes. So today, we will be proofreading. I would like you to check Lily's work for her today. So Lily would like you to check her work for her. Check if the correct prefix has been added to these words. If not, please correct it. So over here, we have the word active. Lily wrote her, um, wrote inactive, as she believes that il is the correct prefix to use in this, in this word. Have a think, is inactive correct? Now we know active is when someone, for example, may take part in a lot of sports, they may take part in a lot of activities, so they are active. And the opposite of that would be inactive. So did she use the correct prefix? We can see that she did not. So we are going to correct it for her. So if you double click onto the box, you will be able to write the correct um, the correct word, which is inactive. Now let's have a look at the second word, the second, the second question. So she wrote down logical and she chose the prefix il to turn to make the word illogical. Now we know that this is correct. So we're going to double click on the box and just write down correct as she chose the correct prefix. So now if you are in group one, I would like you to begin and um, begin marking her work. So here we have the word responsible and she chose the prefix im to make the word im responsible. Is that correct? Have a think. Now, if that isn't correct, I want you to double click into the box and write the correct prefix. So would it be irresponsible or would it be irresponsible which one would it be I want you to correct it for her now if she did answer a question for a um, if she did answer it correctly all you have to do is double click into the box and just write down correct if she did answer it correctly. So I want you to check these for her, please. Now, if you're in group number two, you are doing something similar. I want you to correct these words for her and to also mark it. So if she did answer it correctly, then you just have to write down correct into the box. You could use this mat over here to help you. So for example, if we had the word rational and we wanted to choose the correct prefix, we know that it would be irrational. And also, for example, if we had the word possible and we wanted to add the prefix, it would be impossible. So I want you to write into the box the correct prefix that needs to be added into here. And if she did answer it correctly, then please just write down correct as I did over here.